What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, lovely MK, who really goes by MK, but that's okay. Back again with another video. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I take my pictures at home. This was requested back from before I even started my YouTube. A lot of people wondered how I take my own pictures. So what I'm gonna be using today to take my pictures is the Canon G7X Mark III. I'll put the link in the description box below. Originally, I bought the Mark II, but UPS lost it, so I went and just got my money back and bought the G7X Mark III in store. It's a bit pricey, but Canon has an app called Canon Camera Connect, which I like a lot better than using um, this little remote here through Bluetooth on my phone because for some reason, even when it's connected, it's like a hit or a miss on like if it's going to take the picture. So I'll be like in a pose. And I'll just be there for like 10 seconds, like hoping that it takes it. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you do so. You don't want to miss anything that we have coming, as well as you should just want to join the family, you know? Okay, so before we start, I'll just be showing you my setup. Um, don't mind a little bit of mess I have in my box <laughs> um, But so I have my tripod here. I got this tripod on Amazon I want to say it was like 20 bucks. I'll put that in the description link box below um, it turns So you can have it flat um, that's how I was recording my intro But now I'm gonna have it to the side because I don't want her um, horizontal pictures. I want landscape pictures I mean, yeah, so I have a blue light. Why did I put a light or blue specifically? Just because I liked how it um, made the aesthetic of my room colors look. So I have white, pink, and gray are the colors for my room. And then the blue just kind of gave it more of a vibey type of look. So that's where my pictures are actually going to be taken. And this is um, the tripod that I'll be using. So I'm just going to go ahead and prop it up now. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Canon Camera Connect app. Man, that's a tongue twister. Um, select Remote Live Viewing for shooting. Once the option pops up, you're going to go ahead and join the network. That's just joining the Wi-Fi through the camera. Next, um, this is just a screen recording here. My service in my room is really horrible, so that's why it looks all choppy. But I had a self timer set um, for two seconds on my camera. So whenever I click the shutter button through the app here, I actually, you know, still had the two seconds to pose. So I'm just playing around with poses. I still had the screen to my camera up. So I was actually looking at myself in both the screen and on my phone here. I didn't actually use any of these pictures because I didn't like the fact that my phone was in the shot. Um, the one I actually ended up using for Instagram, I moved my phone out of the shot and just you know, made use of that self timer. So I'm just playing around with different poses, different angles. Um, you can't see the flash because the app doesn't show you the pictures that are actually being taken like a camera would, but just know the flash was on for all of these pictures. And I should have mentioned it before, but I just used um, a blue light through YouTube on my Roku. Nothing major, I didn't like buy any anything I don't know just for the lighting you know I'm frugal so I'm gonna make use of what I have <laughs> yeah so you know how it is with taking pictures you're gonna take a million until you get the couple that you like when I tell you I took a thousand maybe like two three thousand no, I'm kidding I'm forcing it but I took a lot of pictures y'all I took a lot of pictures and it's really hard to feel natural and to look natural in the camera when there's nobody actually in the room with you I find that my best pictures usually come from someone standing behind the camera because it's more natural but I had to get used to this and you know stop looking like a deer in headlights in front of the camera when I'm by myself because majority of the time when I want to take pictures I am by myself so but yeah that's pretty much it 
And here are just a couple of the pictures that were taken. If you have me on social media, you can see that the picture I posted looked a lot different lighting wise. And that's just some of the apps I use to edit the lighting. And yeah. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for how I take my pictures. It's a process. I was doing that all day. I did like two, three more outfits and multiple different poses and things. So we're not gonna include all of that, but let me go, blah, 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 blah. let me know what you guys think. <laughs> let me know if this helped you at all. You can do the same process of um, how you take the pictures except using like a phone, a stand, and the little clicker thingy that I said I don't like to use. Um, um, but yeah, if you guys wanna see how I edit my pictures, you can go ahead and let me know that. Maybe I'll, you know, drop those gems on you too but we gotta see how this one does first but that being said that's all for this video make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that i have coming make sure to like this video so with that being said i'll catch you guys in my next video see ya